Okay, so for those of you unfamiliar with remote play on the Vita, uh, I just picked one up. So here is what it does. Uh, here is remote play brought up on the Vita screen. You can see my TV does not detect a signal. And here is my PS4's standby light. So you can see it's off. All right, so what I do is I go and I select remote play on the Vita screen. Remote play, it's searching for the PS4. And you can see here it's off. And you can see it's now on. And now the Vita still says it's searching for a nearby PS4, but watch the television. Now it detects it. There it goes. The TV is now on. I just turned my Vita my PS4 on through my Vita over Wi-Fi. Okay, so that's remote play. Now what I can do is you can see my PS4 is telling me welcome back to PlayStation. There's my PS4's home screen. And now here comes it says I connected through remote play, as you just saw in the corner there. And now, on my Vita screen, is my PS4 screen. You can see there's a little bit of input lag. Not too terrible much, but just enough to probably be annoying in some really picky games when it comes to controls. But, uh, anything on my uh, PlayStation 4's hard drive, or... And the disk drive, I can actually play on my Vita now, as you can see. So, for example, I'll choose uh, I'll choose Rezo Gun here. Let's see here, Rezo Gun. There it goes. You can see it's on my Vita screen here, my TV screen here. Here it goes. It's loading. And now I can play Rezo Gun on my PS Vita over the internet even, no matter where I am, as long as I have a strong internet connection here at home and wherever else I am, I can actually play whatever it is I'm playing on the PS4 on my Vita screen, which is really cool and really useful because the Vita's library is somewhat different than that of the PS4. Anyway, that's uh, Remote Play. In case you were wondering, thanks for watching.